I take this opportunity to welcome you here at Special Forces Training School, Fort Samala Machel, where we are witnessing the pass out of uh, Special Force Police Presidential Guards. Sir, the Special Force, Special Force Police Presidential Guard were on Tier 2 course, and this intake started with VIP training at uh, Kassen Training School on 11th December 2023 with a VIP package. At Special Forces Training School for Samala Marshall, we received them on 26 July 2024 for a small tactics package. And so far we have covered with them 12 weeks. So the course was scheduled to last for 24 weeks, that is six months, but due to other commitments and operation where some elsewhere, they were interrupted during the course of training, prolonging, the, prolonging their course to 40 weeks now. So during the course of training, they have covered the following. Counterterrorism, the subject, Counterterrorism search, tactics, majorly in small in tactics, map using stroke navigation, skills at arms, political education, martial arts, physical training, tactical combat, combat casualty care, military intelligence, communication, drill, close quarter combat, and the Swahili language. So the trainees before you performed to their best and out of the 61 students received that reported for training, only four failed at the VIPP level due to medical grounds. 52, 57 that reported for SUT, the school is proud to announce that they have all passed. That is four female and 53 male. Uh, in other countries, police is nearly does all the all the job. Some countries don't need even the military. Police does all counter terrorism, counter piracy, and then all the policing uh, uh, aspect. So, in this case. I'm very sure you will undergo other policing training, but this particular course will help you in being combat ready, in being able to undertake any challenge as you have just uh, demonstrated. It requires you to be tough to do such a, um, a training and to take up uh, against any bad elements. It requires to be tough, it requires to be prepared, it requires to you know, to know what 
the outcome might come. So uh, you must congratulate yourself for uh, having taken this course thus far. So you are one of those well-prepared police constables ready to perform. Congratulations and to the instructors, thank you for taking uh, our comrades uh, this far. They are much better than uh, we received them. Uh, having witnessed the FTX, today's demonstration was uh, much better. Well done, instructors. So, uh, allow me appreciate the Chief of Staff for taking his time to come for this function and also extend uh, a training appreciation to Commander SFC. As I told you, help us. It helps us to polish up our ideas, to understand why we perform our job. One leader said that those who know their job, they do the job. But those ones who know why they do the job, they do the job better and they lead others. Thomas Sankara, one of our great leaders, once president of West Africa, he said in Burkina Faso, he said, a soldier, you can subdue the soldier who is a police officer, because now we have police officers here. A police officer without ideological or political training is a potential criminal. If you get the skills that you have, they, have, they have given you, very good. You are very good. You know what to do. You can inherit a village. You can clear the houses. You can fire the bombs. You can clear. But once you don't know who is the enemy that you should go clear, that's very, very dangerous. But also as elite warriors who have embraced the rigorous training and challenges that define our special force. First and foremost, we appreciate the strategic guidance by the commander in chief. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda and the Fountain of Honor, who is the vision bearer, who gave the guidance initially to create what we have witnessing today. Also, wish to thank the Chief of Defense Force and Special Presidential Advisor and Special Operations for their continuous guidance through the capacity building journey of our security forces. We also take the moment, this honor to thank the leadership of Uganda Police Force for selecting you, the graduates, mentoring you, and guiding you through the basic training. We thank also Uganda Police Force for their continued sustainment of Presidential Police Guard since its inception so many years back. Uh, I'm sure we have no issues. We are happy. We have always been around, present whenever we need you, and we have uh, worked on this force without any form of segregation, but knowing that they are performing a noble call. In, in, in some instances, actually, they've sustained you far better than some than the other forces that they joined. Cindy, these ones don't know yet, but the command and the command of PPG can tell me here. Asante sana. If you go to some sectors, he's doing better. He's a bit in the Because he has, uh, he has, uh, he has a certain uh, welfare requirements for a soldier that others may not have. But we really appreciate the leadership of police for that. And we pray that you continue with that spirit because we really need it to keep uh, these uh, officers and men or whoever they are in their different capacities executing their noble cause or their noble duties.